Amen. Father God, we thank you for your son that you've raised up for this day and hour. And Lord, right now we speak your word. And God, we put that double portion of the apostolic and prophetic upon him. And Lord, the way that yes, Lord. And again, as that power of hell that's tried to hinder and restrict through this thing that's been doing and taking up his time and taking up his energy to deal with it. I command it to be over with, through, done, that he can walk on freedom and preach, pray, prophesy and do the works of the Lord. The Lord says, son, I'm working a miracle in your family. I'm working a miracle in your life. And then I'm, I, all that you've envisioned and seen in the spirit, that's beyond anything that you've seen anybody doing or even you doing, you will do it, you will flow in it, and you will perform it. I'm getting ready to open some miracles for you and some things, but I want you to stay humble. I want you to know it's still me. I give all the glory to God because I'm not raising up people to glorify man. I'm raising up people with power to glorify my kingdom and establish my kingdom. And I've called you for these last days to come forth in the power of the spirit and begin to demonstrate that saints have power over the devil. And we're coming into God's World War III and he's raising up an army, not just a social club, yes, not just a blessing, but he's raising up an army and you're going to be a general in the army of the oh. Lord. And you're going to raise up these warriors that's going to go forth and battle and destroy the works of darkness and prepare the way and make ready the people where Jesus can return as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Amen. Wow. Thank Amen. you so much, Bishop, for this life-changing word. And uh, love you. Thank you.